make sure all this shit is set up before I start. So um, today, I'm going to go through all of my Blu-rays and all of my DVDs and just talk about them. Um, let's start with this first little pile. Let me go. Um, my Criterions. First one up, Hedwig and the Angry Inch on Blu-ray. Um, it's definitely in my top ten movies of all time. Um, it's real good, has great special features, two discs so. Second one is Umbrellas of Cherbourg, great French musical. <clears throat> but yeah, this is a great one. You got Rosemary's Baby Criterion DVD version though. Comes for a really extensive essay. Um, I recommend getting this one as well. And then my last criterion for now is my Blue is the Warmest Color, NC-17. Um, real good. Real long. And real graphic, but real good. Um, let's start with these DVDs and Blu-rays I got here. If you couldn't tell, this isn't in alphabetical order because I'm a mess, but let's get into this first pile. Alright. First up, we got, um, feels like a bootleg, but it's not, um, the American 2007 Funny Games by Michael Haneke, or Michael, or Michael Haneke. Um, really good, really suspenseful. Definitely check it out. And we got a um, Inherent Vice. I haven't seen this film yet. But it came with a Blu-ray and DVD and a double-sided um, insert, which is pretty cool. I might actually flip it because I like this side better. Look forward to seeing it. Um, just haven't gotten around to it yet. This might take me a while, but whatever. Then I got the um, Synapse Films 2-disc Blu-ray edition um, restoration of Suspiria from 1977. Um, this is definitely worth picking up because it comes with feature film and special features. And it is a 4K restoration, so it looks fantastic. Then I got The Shape of Water. Definitely my pick to have won um, Best Picture of the Year It Came Out, which it did. Um, Guillermo del Toro's um, first Best Picture nominee, I believe. Um, his first English language one. Um, yeah, but real good, real good. Then I got the, um, with a slip cover, It's 2017. Um, part one, real good. Prefer this one over part two any day. Then I got the slip sleeve with over three hours of special features for La La Land. Um, comes with Blu-ray and DVD. And a nice shiny little slip cover. Um, winner of six Academy Awards. Almost won Best Picture with that slip up, but um, Moonlight deserved it that year, so... Then I got a DVD of Dreamgirls. Nothing really to say except for the score is amazing. Then I got a DVD and digital HD version for the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's a cult classic. Check it out. Then I got New, S New York Stories. Um, it is an anthology with Martin Scorsese, Francis Ford Coppola, and Woody Allen. Um, this isn't mine. My film 
screenwriting teacher in college gave it to me to borrow. And um, then COVID happened, so I never got it back to her, but I will. Then I got this as a gift. It is um, Columbia Pictures release of Funny Games from, make sure I get this right, 1968, I believe. Barbara's Rysan, great film, great acting. Um, yeah, it's a good musical. Another musical I got is the Best Picture winner on blue um, on DVD Chicago. It's real old. I don't even know if the disc is in here, but definitely check this one out. It's on Hulu. Uh. Time to grab another one. I got this screener from my aunt and my grandparents. Uh, for Birdman when it was coming going up for the Oscar. So it's like this whole spread and it's for your consideration But um, yeah, this is pretty cool to have because um, I'm not a SAG member, so I don't get screeners. So this is pretty cool to look through and have Then I got Heather's the 20th anniversary edition um, Comes with a cool little Original poster when two discs. Um, not really sure what the two discs are. Disc one is audio commentary, and disc two is special features. Cool. Good to know. Then I got one of my top 10 movies again. Um, I got a DVD for Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf with Richard um, Burton and Elizabeth Taylor. Um, really fantastic movie based on a play that I'm actually going to be stage managing um, next summer if COVID isn't still ru ruining the world. Um, I recommend seeing this if you're a theater major or if you're interested in fantastic acting, which I think everyone should be. Really good. Five stars. Then I got the widescreen DVD of Corpse Bride. I got this a long time ago when I was in like middle school. Good little film. It's only like 80 minutes. Maybe a little less, but a great Tim Burton film with good music. And then I have Bohemian Rhapsody on DVD. I've yet to see this movie because I heard the editing sucks. But I do like Queen, so I'll definitely be checking it out sometime. Then I have the Collector's Edition of Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 with uh, Scream Factory. The two-disker. Um, comes with 2K scan of the film with audio commentary and a lot of special features with a documentary and an HD remaster with color correction and a six part feature length documentary called It Runs With The Family in the Family. This is from 1986. It's really underrated and it's hysterically funny and really fucking um, brutal. Definitely check this one out. It's also on Hulu. I then have a from Blockbuster um, rented in 2005, bought in 2005. I got this from a thrift store DVD of The Ring. Um, really fantastic horror movie. Oh, my Bioshock disc is in here. Should probably. Eh, I'll put it behind me. But um, yeah, really great film. Check it out. Let's see if anybody's actually watching. All right. Uh, another two I have are um, the Suspiria remake or reimagining from 2018. Really good. Also came with two, with um, not two discs, only came with one. But um, definitely recommend this if you're a fan of um, art house cinema. And uh, yeah. It's great. It's disturbing, and it's 152 minutes, so it's real long, but... Then I have a old widescreen edition DVD for Hello, Dolly. This movie's great. I saw it for the first time in um, Fathom Events, at a Fathom Events screening at um, my local theater that I worked at, a Regal. So um, it was cool to see this on the big screen for the first time, and I have the DVD now. All right, let's go through this. new pile all right here is a 238 minute documentary two disc collector's edition called never sleep again the elm street legacy it is about the 
it is an, a very extensive look at the creation of um, all the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Um, this was really like a film that I saw and watched all the way through. Despite it's like, let's see how long. 258 minutes in two hours. Sorry, I'm real bad with math. It's over four hours. It's almost four and a half. But um, it's the like entire casting crew that they could that they got for interviews and it's really extensive and comprehensive and it's just fantastic. It's real good. So I recommend watching this if you're a fan of the series and if you're not, if you're looking to get into it. Then I have um, Pan's Labyrinth. This is a fantastic Blu-ray um, and a fantastic movie. It's probably one of my favorite um, it's definitely one of my favorite foreign films ever, if not in my top, like, 25 of all time for, in general, movies. Real good. Tim Burton's Edward Scissorhands on DVD widescreen. Um, I like, I got it because it was the 25th anniversary one. I got it from, like, Walmart or something for, like, five dollars. Um. Because I am haunting myself, I have Cool Cat kid superhero because of YMS Adam. Uh, really bad, but really funny. Unintentionally. This is the first Blu-ray I ever bought. Um, Rent. I got it at Barnes & Noble in, um, the, at the mall. And um, I'm not sure why this feels so thick. Oh, fuck. I'm not sure why, but Excuse me. But uh, yeah, I recommend it. It's pretty good. I have the five film set for Scream. Comes with like, these guys, Scream 3 is up there, but it comes with um, two documentaries, Still Screaming and The Scream Inside, The Inside Story. And this is um, the first three Scream films. Scream 4 is not in here. But um, yeah, I really enjoy having this um, larger Blu-ray with me. Then I have another Cool Cat, because there are several DVDs with it. Um, it's garbage, but it's funny. I then have an um, introduction to why I became a theater major and really why I got into theater so much. Um, my Blu-ray of the 25th anniversary production of Phantom of the Opera with Ramin Karimloo, C.R. Vagas, and Hadley Frazier. It's fantastic, and it's really well shot, so I recommend it. Then I have DVD of Mean Girls that I got from a thrift store. Um... Special Collector's Edition full screen. So lucky me, I guess. And then I have the last DVD for Cool Cat. It's um, disc one. It's four films. All right. I'm almost done with this first box. I have two boxes. And then I have some DVDs up there I'll probably show y'all. Um, I doubt anybody's watching because it's a stream of literally me going through movies and I have 10, I have 26 subscribers, but, or followers, but yeah. All right. This is the director's cut. So it has the, um, original ending and theatrical ending, Little Shop of Horrors on Blu-ray. It's a theatrical version of the film. It comes with a behind the scenes documentary, the director's cut and commentary with the alternate ending. Lots of fun. Uh, I did this show in high school. Um, the disc looks real fun and cute, so yeah, definitely worth picking up. Good movie. Then I have a DVD from Walmart, and it's a two-disker that's kind of falling apart on me. But it's um, Stephen King's The Stand from 94, 1994. It's um, 5 hours, 59 minutes, so it's like 6 hours. And it's in four parts, and it's the TV miniseries, but it's the entire thing, and I have yet to see it. But I'm looking forward to reading the book and seeing this. I also have a DVD for Love Never Dies with a slipcover. Um, real good. The sequel to Phantom of the Opera. I got to see this live, and it was a lot better live. But and Then I got Sweeney Todd. This is clearly um, a previewed, bought from Blockbuster DVD version of it. But I got this from a thrift store, too. I love this film. It's also on Hulu. And I've seen this show live, in live productions, three times. Once off-Broadway in New York, and then one at the local theater near my house with one of my 
close work friends in the lead, and then at um, Elon University. Then I have a blue, the DVD for The Mist by Frank Darabont, based on a Stephen King novella. Um, really good, in my opinion. Great, like, final... It's probably one of the most devastating and shocking endings in any film I've ever seen. And um, Frank Darabont directs it beautifully. Then I have the film version of Phantom of the Opera on DVD. Widescreen edition. Emmy Russum and Gerard Butler. Pretty good. Not great. Not anything close to like the stage version or the 25th anniversary version that I've owned. Now we're going into favorites territory. This is Hereditary on Blu-ray. Um, Blu-ray DVD and digital. This is probably my in my top five or top three favorite movies of all time. Ari Aster's directorial debut feature film. A24. Um, yeah, definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. Real scary. One of the only movies that's actually scared me. I saw it in theaters. Then I have the Blu-ray DVD of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I'm really late to the train, or for like the hype train of this movie, because I didn't watch it growing up. But I watched it within the last couple of years and instantly loved it. This is the 25th anniversary version. Blu-ray. So, yeah. All right. First box done. Second box. Here we go. Now these are more movies that I haven't seen before. A lot majority of these. Um. Okay, we've been going for about seventeen minutes. Cool. Reservoir Dogs special edition. Um, ten years. It comes with two discs, full screen and widescreen, and I hope it comes with some special features. Yeah, it's some special features. Um, I've recently watched this for the first time when I was being stuck as I'm stuck at home with um taking the semester off and everything um yeah really great film Quentin Tarantino's probably in my opinion of the ones I've seen best film oh my god my legs all right then this is one of my Simpsons um DVD collector's sets this is the sixth season and it's it's real cool, cool packaging. All the series, all the Simpsons ones are great packaging. Now I have probably my favorite romantic comedy as of recent, um, Easy A, starring Emma Stone. Um, I think it's really great, and this is the um, DVD for that. Let's see. Checking to see the stats. All right. This is um, from a thrift store that I went to, um, and the macabre by x Raider dvd edition for found i have yet to see this movie but um it's a real indie horror movie this is moulin rouge i got it for a birthday or christmas present uh i've yet to see it all the way through i'm not a huge fan of the way it's filmed um or the movie really itself but i'll give it a second chance someday i'm sure uh the uncut version of american psycho i'm reading the book right now this is the Killer's Collector's Edition, so it comes with a bunch of fun stuff, I'm sure. This is Les Mis on DVD with bonus features. Um, really recommend this. It is. It runs at over two and a half hours, but it's well worth it. I saw this in theaters when it came out and on stage recently. All right, Hot Fuzz. This came with the first Blu-ray player we ever had as a family. I have yet to see it to this day, but I look forward to seeing it sometime. Um, yeah, HD DVD combo format. I don't know what that means. This came with a collector's pack. It's This is the Godfather series. This is part three. This is a DVD collection with extras. This out of the box is part two. Um, the only one that I actually care to see isn't in here. I can't find it, but you get to see any of these. So I know, call me a fake fan, but whatever. <laughs> um, movie, another movie I haven't seen, but I'm looking forward to seeing it sometime soon is the original Blair Witch Project on DVD that I own. Um, I also own Unrated Director's Cut, Hostel Part 2. I've yet to see that either. Dreamcatcher. Um, in like one of those shitty old like oh god, um, DVD cases. Heard this movie sucks, so I probably won't watch it anytime soon. But we'll put her back in here because it's falling apart. Then I got um 
A Star is Born on DVD. The most recent one from 2018 with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. Um, I saw this in theaters. I really enjoyed it. Um, definitely deserved the Oscar that it got for best song. Bradley Cooper was snubbed for best director, though. He wouldn't have won, but he deserved a nomination. Um... I also have a four-disc movie collection of Hollywood hits of movies I've never heard of. Saturday Night Fever, which I've never seen, and a two-disc widescreen edition of um, Casino Royale, the James Bond film from with Daniel Craig from... Um, what year did this come out? 20, 2008, 2006? Yeah, 2006. And then I have TCM Greatest Classic Hits from my uncle, um, Cary Grant, Volume 2. Haven't seen any of those either. Alright. I'll put a lot of these back. Alright, let's go through this. Caligula, the unrated edition. This is a really infamous, expl has a, contains explicit content warning on it. Um, Malcolm McDowell... Like, basically soft... It's basically hardcore porn in a movie um, on DVD. I have yet to see it. Maybe someday I'll pop it in and watch it. Dancer in the Dark, Lars, Lars von Trier's Bjork, Catherine Genevieve, David Morris film. Um, I look forward to watching this. I've always wanted to, but I have yet to see it. Maybe I'll put it on the top of my list. Um, we have Manhunter on DVD. Um, I've yet to see this, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. Same with Parkland. I've never seen it, but I have it on Blu-ray. Scarface. Never seen it. Widescreen edition, but always wanted to. Black Swan. Um, Natalie Portman got her first Oscar, I believe first, Oscar win for this. Darren Aronofsky. Fantastic movie. I definitely put in, like, my top 50 of movies I've ever seen, but, like, I'm not sure if any higher, but definitely really good. And then The Fault in Our Stars, I have a soft spot for this because it's one of the first books that I really got into and like liked that I wasn't assigned to read, which I know is a little weird, but I was like 14 or 13 when this came out, and I saw it opening night. And I have a huge crush on Ansel Elgort, so it'd be like that. One Hour Photo, I recently watched for the first time. Robin Williams, scary movie, really good. Um... Road to Perdition, never seen it. I know it's based on a graphic novel with Tom. It's Tom Hanks and Paul Newman and Jude Law. I'm looking forward to seeing it sometime. My Harry Potter collection right here. Or at least two of the ones in the Harry Potter collection. Order of the Phoenix, Prisoner of Azkaban, both very good. Old DVDs I own. American Beauty, a movie I need to see but kind of avoided it recently because of Kevin Spacey. or Because I don't like him because he's a fucking pedophile rapist. But you know. South Pacific and State Fair, two classic musicals. Going to Pieces, it's um, a documentary about horror movies. Another movie I need to see, but I haven't yet, is Shawshank Redemption. Snowtown Murders on DVD. This is a genuinely disturbing film based on the true story of a serial killer. Um, it's Australian, it's a bunch of unknown actors, and I'm pretty sure it's a director directorial debut. Definitely watch it. I have the 1990s miniseries of It. Very good. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yet to see it all the way through. Carousel. Great Rodgers and Hammerstein documented, um, musical. Excuse me. I got Crash. Because um, I heard it was good. And I have um, Lawnmower Man. Which I heard was bad. Let's see. Ugh, give me one second. Now you guys get to watch me put the Blu-rays and DVDs back. Hope you have a lot of patience. Put it back in their boxes.
right, let's go get the other ones I own. Um, that's basically it for what I want to show you. Um, everything else that I have is really just video games. Oh yeah, so I guess the Shape of Water decided to go into Bioshock, and Bioshock decided to go into Shape of Water. Which it is what it is, but a little strange. Let's see if I can find Shape of Water. There we go. Here's the Blu-ray for Shape of Water, which was not in its case. But, um, yeah, I've been watching, um, Adam Plays, who's on Twitch and YouTube, um, under YMS, do his 11-hour Blu-ray collection tour, or he's seen majority of the movies that he owns, so that's why it's so long. Also, he's a movie critic, so he owns a lot more than I do. But, um, I've been watching that over the last few days, so I was like, you know what, fuck it, I might as well do it too. Give me something to do. Give me something to talk about. But, um... Yeah, my movies that I'm looking forward to getting on DVD and Blu-ray soon um, are a lot of Criterion ones. Ugh, let me move up here real quick. Jesus Christ. Um, are a couple of more Criterion... But, uh, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this 30-minute ramble stream, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.